school seniors, let's say you could go back in time and talk to your freshman selves. What would you want to say? Uh, probably the biggest thing, getting cross country. I didn't actually end up joining running until freshman year. I got a crazy goal in eighth grade and ended up in track trying to do it. <laughs> uh, so probably that and also just keep working hard. You can do a, I can do a lot more than I expect. And if I keep working at it, I'll get, I can get to a lot of different places I never thought I'd be. Yeah. You know, I tell myself not to doubt my own abilities. You know, when I was just starting out, especially during cross country, I'd start out too slow and then I wouldn't get the time I wanted. So I think it's better for myself to start out faster and stay strong and do that. Yeah, totally. And if you could talk to your future selves, maybe 20 or 30 years from now, what kind of positive impact uh, legacy would you want to leave on the world? I guess the best I have is more of like, it, it's going to mean a lot more to someone. It's not really going to matter if I can run a varsity letter in time or I can PR in a race or win or win a school record or anything but what's really going to matter is the people you're around and the teams you're with so be encouraging to them help them out uh, make sure to be someone that they would want to be around yeah yeah i agree with ryan i mean i think i'd like to be an encouraging sort of example some of my friends they ask them to run and they are they're doubting themselves so I, i'd like to have them come out too and see what they're capable of awesome and so you guys are really accomplished already do you guys have any goals for yourself either career or college wise after you graduate uh, my current goal is to join the U.S. Air Force and be an officer and a fighter pilot. Uh, Thank I'm you. I'm not sure whether I'll go running anywhere, but that is what got me out here in the first place, <laughs> trying to get mile times to make make different uh, physical tests. I'm still waiting on to hear back from uh, some last colleges to see where I end up, but that's where I'm at so far. Awesome. Good luck. I'm planning on studying criminology, and I want to go into law enforcement, so I'm not really sure what to do for running. I want to keep running. I certainly don't want to lose all the effort I've made, so yeah. I'm going to try and keep Running. Do you know where you're headed next year, Ben? I'm um, thinking San Jose State. Oh, nice. Really awesome. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. We're here with Coach Kevin Searles, who coaches the distance team at Alhambra. Thank you so much for joining us. He's also the president of the Aggies Running Club, sponsored by Hoka. Do you have a special message you'd like for the class of 2021 seniors? Well, uh, the seniors, I'm uh, a long time ago senior, 1976, graduated from College Park High School. Um, most of your parents probably weren't even born the time when I was running at College Park, but uh, my message is uh, set a goal and go for it. Um, it's been a lot of years since I've been there at College Park, but I've continued running, um, competitive running. I'm just a little bit slower than I was back in the day and then. Um, set a goal reach for that goal. Don't don't cut yourself short, especially in this crazy COVID era that we're dealing with. It's uh, fantastic that all of you athletes are still out here putting in the work. You get to practice, it gets shut down. You practice, you shut down. But it's, it's showing off, it's paying off for uh, the performance I'm seeing here today at Concord and hopefully some better performances throughout the rest of the year. Congratulations to the seniors and the best of luck. All right, thank you so much. It's Coach Peter Brewer with uh, Hambra. Thank you so much for hosting us today. Do you have any special message you'd like to have for the class of 2021 seniors? Class of 2021, you are a privileged class in that you have had uh, more obstacles in a shorter period of time than almost any other class in the last century outside of the world wars. Congratulations, and congratulations to all the athletes who have taken the time and effort to persevere when most other people would have given up. Congratulations, and good luck in the future. Thank you so much. Take care. Go back in time and talk to your freshman self. What would you say to him? Um, just keep going, keep moving, uh, work hard. You'll yeah, get there. Definitely. And then, what kind of legacy or impact would you want to have on this world? Um, you know, I'm just trying to put in uh, what I got out. You know, I've, I've definitely gotten a lot from this team. Uh, so just trying to put as much and a little bit more in, uh, and make sure that future generations will have the same experience I did, yeah, um, totally. even going through a pandemic yes. like this. Yes. I'm just hoping to do what I can, enjoy my life, um, try to be a good person. Awesome, thank you. And, and then congratulations on running D1 for Davidson College. Thank you so Do you much. have um, any ideas of what you're gonna be doing there or any goals for yourself? Um, I think our team's gonna be really good. Uh, so we're going for some team titles and I don't know, just hoping to be a part of that team title. Awesome, thank you so much, take care. Thank you. All right, so since you're a senior, is there anything you'd like to say to freshman Dylan if you can go back in time and talk to him? Um, I would just say to be patient with yourself and be patient with your body because a lot's going to change over the course of four years. Mm -hmm. But um, if you, you know, keep up, you know, having a, a good heart and you yeah. stay in love running, Definitely. everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to get better. Um, and so, yeah, just that patience and that love for running. Awesome. And then looking ahead, um, so you could talk to your future self, what kind of positive impact would you want to leave on the world? Hmm. I definitely just want to make the world a better place and I want to do something better for the environment and for the, the people of 
you know, I want to be somebody that, you know, um, cares about other people and does, and I want to be, serve other people that, that you know, um, like need it. Like, I think that, like, living in this community, I have a lot of, like, privilege and I have a lot of, um, I have a lot of opportunity. So it's important I take advantage of that to help people that don't. So I really want to do something with my life that, you know, for the benefit of others. So since you're a senior, let's say you could go back in time and talk to freshman Justin. What would you say to him? Um, I would say definitely run on the weekends if I really wanted to improve my times. Uh, I was pretty, uh, I was pretty determined to like always be my own, uh, t uh, get my personal best, be my own times. And uh, if I ran more, definitely I would uh, become more uh, faster. That's great, yeah. And then if you could go to the future and talk to Justin from 10 years from now, what would you say to him? Um, as long as you're happy, honestly. Just if you're in a good place and whatever the conditions are, as long as you're feeling great about yourself, I think that's, that's the goal. Fantastic. And so, uh, and since college uh, decisions are coming out, do you have any plans next year? Do you I know do. where you're going to go? Uh, I got accepted into two UCs, one Santa Cruz and uh, Irvine. Congratulations. I'm pretty uh, leaning towards Irvine right now. I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go for them. And uh, currently I'm undeclared. Uh, I'll probably take one year and then determine my major. All right, that's fantastic. Thank you so much, Justin. Take Thank care. Thank you. Since you're a senior this year, let's say you go back in time. What would you want to say to freshman Logan? I would tell myself to be consistent, uh, both consistent and patient with yourself. A lot of things are avoidable, especially injury. If you just sit it out, wait, and give yourself time to recover. Be patient with, even though you don't win one time, it's okay to take that as a loss and help it motivate you for the next one. Totally. And let's say you could talk to your future self 20 or 30 years from now. What kind of positive legacy would you want to leave in the world? I would I would want to leave a legacy that like people just think of me as not only a good athlete, but like a good um, just person overall. Like They're like, you remember the days of Logan. Awesome. And then looking ahead, do you have any career or college aspirations after you graduate? Um, I'll be... I'll be going to BYU, and I'm hoping to run for their um, club team there. Yeah. Maybe work my way up to their actual team, but we'll see how that goes. There's yeah. still a lot of work to do. No, congrats on BYU, and you got this. Thank you so much. Yeah. Take care. Thank you. This is your senior year. Let's say you could talk to a freshman self. What would you want to say to him? Um, I would say just stick with it, because when I was a freshman, I was, you know, it was really tough running, because I hadn't run, done any exercise before, so it was really difficult to stay. Uh, motivated to keep going so i would just tell myself you know it's gonna be worth it keep going and if you could talk to your future self 20 or 30 years from now what kind of positive impact would you want to have left on the world uh well i, I want to be a like, some sort of physical therapist so i want to you know hopefully make some uh, we have a whole field we have a career field. better Denisha, and, you know, and then, uh, looking ahead, is there any goals you have for yourself after you graduate or college or career-wise? I'm sorry, I can't Do you have any goals for yourself uh, after you graduate college or career-wise? Uh, yeah, I want to go to a four-year. Uh, I think we'll be going to St. Mary's. So, Great school. school. Yeah. We need to raise the hurdles up uh, and pull them towards the starting line. So I want to get a degree in that. Need to be oh, raised that's up great. Get a, and move. Yeah, PT, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. Take care. We're here with Coach Donziano, the head coach of Concord High School's track team. Thank you so much for hosting us today. I'm wondering if you have a special message for the class of 2021 seniors. So the class of 2020 has a special, 21 has a special place in my heart. A lot of these kids I've coached the whole four years and um, I'm sure it's the same for a lot of the other coaches. Um, if you got through this, you can get through anything working out by yourselves when we had to and then with just a small group and no racing and you still stuck with it you were amazing and if you can do this you can do anything so good luck in college or whatever you're choosing to do and i look forward to hearing about you thank you so much coach here with yellow a uh, senior from Miramani, thank you so much for joining us. Do you, let's say you were able to talk to your freshman self, what would you want to say to them? Um, if I was able to talk to my freshman self, I'd probably just tell them to uh, make sure to have fun with the sport, or like in general, or like in track. 
In general? In general, I just make sure you tell him to, um, you know, try to make a positive impact with whatever he does. Uh, have fun with whatever he does and get, you know, focus on the right priorities. Don't get too distracted. And then, if you could talk to your future self, what kind of legacy do you want to leave on the world? Um, what kind of legacy? Again, same thing. I just feel like, um, and what we were talking about earlier, just kind of making people happy, making positive impact, just doing something to like better uh, our society just a little bit, whatever it may be. Totally. And looking ahead, do you have any plans for yourself after graduation? Um, like where I'm going next year? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to University of Michigan. Congrats. Really excited about it, going to Ann Arbor. Uh, might be going on a gap year, we'll see. Um, but I'm just really excited to kind of go on that next next job. Perfect. Thank you so much, Jeff. Take care. Of course. Thank you. What kind of legacy would you like to leave as your impact on the world? It's very wholesome. Thank you. Okay. Your two seniors, Simon and Audrey from Miramani, thank you for joining us. Let's say you could go back in time and talk to your freshman selves. What would you want to say? I, to my freshman self, um, maybe just like don't be scared or intimidated of high school or like just everything about it, the workload, because it, it honestly was super fun and I I enjoyed it a lot. Cool. And just the people I met and I feel like I really changed in a positive way. Yeah. How about you, Simon? Uh, I think I want to learn more about myself freshman year. Keep experimenting with how to like push myself and find that that uncomfort zone so I can uh, put a new link. Yeah. And let's say you guys could talk to your future selves of 20, 30 years from now. What kind of legacy do you want to leave on the world? Um, I, <laughs> that's a tough question. What kind of legacy, just like being a positive influence to everyone that I meet and like being someone that people remember when they meet and have a, a positive impact on, I'd say. I'd say also like a positive one, help. Kids, teens, adults be, be happy about their life, positive about fitness, and you know, being, being healthy. Definitely. And looking ahead, what are you guys' career or college aspirations? I'm going to be studying pre-business economics, so something in that realm, hopefully getting an MBA after I graduate. But I'm also really interested in nutritional sciences and working with athletes with that, especially like uh, endurance running uh, athletes. So one of those two paths or maybe combining the two. Uh, I'm going to be studying computer science and business. So hopefully combine computer, the business, and athletics to uh, help athletes in the best way. Totally. And congrats on being a soccer player for um, Up in Oregon. Thank you so much. Take care. Thanks. Thank you. Um, since it's your senior year, let's say you go back in time and talk to freshman Aiden. What would you say to him? Um, I would have told myself, or I would tell myself that uh, you should probably start going to track every day <laughs> um, instead of skipping it for soccer practice because you definitely were capable of doing that. Um, and then also uh, start doing the um, weights and core workouts after practice. Um, those definitely would have helped earlier on. Um, wish I could have done those. If you could talk to your future Aiden like 10 years from now, what would you say to him? Uh, well, I'd want to know what I'd be doing because um, I don't really know what I'm going to do yet but um, looking to, so yeah I just kind of ask like how things are what, what the last 10 years was like because I have no idea what it's going to look like for me yeah um, do you have any goals for yourself to um, college or career aspirations um, I mean I'm definitely looking to go into um, the science sciences um, but I'm not really sure what I want to do with that kind of just going into college with um, more of an open mind, seeing what what interests me, um, and go from there. Awesome. Do you have any uh, commitments yet, or what you're planning, uh, leaning towards? No, I'm still waiting on um, to hear back from admissions. So um, should hear back within the next couple weeks, and then make a decision from there. Totally. All right. Good luck. Thank Thanks. you so much. Take care. Back here with Aiden Donovan. Congrats again on that PR mile. What time did you get, by the way? Uh, I think I came through the line in about 4.52. Let's give our next uh, a big hand. So really happy. Four seconds PR. Seven seconds. He's the best. So, really really glad to be back racing. Feeling like myself again. Uh, this crap for you, by the way. Standing ovation, yep. Um, so, looking ahead, 20 to 30 years from now, what kind of legacy do you want to leave in the world? Uh, 
Um, I definitely want to have my name somewhere at the school. All right, um, Hurdle Crew, we need to finish filling not, out the lanes. Maybe not the Hurdle Crew, we need field. to finish filling out the lanes. I don't, I don't know if that's successful, but... Girls somewhere. Hurdles maybe the track, are on the track. track Following that will be so the boys' hurdle back race. To my so much All hurdlers need to check awesome. in. Thank you, Adam. So since you're a senior, let's see if you go back in time and talk to freshman Julian. What would you want to say to him? Uh, probably don't give up and just train a little bit harder every day. Totally. And then if you could talk to your future self, what kind of legacy would you want to leave? I'm honestly not really <laughs> sure. Okay, and then um, looking ahead, do you have any plans after you graduate? Um, not really. Probably just get GED. Oh, maybe awesome. do biology or chemistry. Cool. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. And so, since you guys are all seniors, let's say you go back in time and talk to your freshman selves. What would you want to say? I'd say just to work hard and make sure I cherish every moment because it just goes by so fast you don't even realize it. Yeah, yeah I would definitely say uh, work harder, you know, like I don't think I worked very hard as a freshman, but uh, I would just definitely say like work harder so you can get to the goals faster. Yeah, I mean, even as freshman, I was like dreading the workout, just like, oh, this sucks. But like even now, I'm looking back, I'm like, I kind of miss it. Like, if it's, there's like two, three weeks left in the season, and then we're done for high school. It's like, I don't know. It's gonna definitely even gonna miss the hard days. Yeah, time flies. And so, let's you could talk to your future self, twenty or thirty years from now. What kind of legacy do you want to leave in the world? Um, I would just want to leave a legacy to just make sure I put my mark on uh, the people that's around me, like. Like these two right here, I, I just wish that uh, they remember me 20 to 30 years <laughs> down the line. Like, oh yeah, he was a good dude, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. just, to have, just to have a positive impact on people, maybe help some people out, and just brighten days. I, mean, I, I believe that if you're not growing, you're dying. I just want to keep improving mm -hmm. for the rest of my life. Yeah. Like, obviously, it's not going to happen, but to go, I want to inspire other people to do the same thing. Totally. And then looking ahead, do you guys have any um, ideas of where you're going to be going next year, either college or career rise? Um, I'm going to the Marines. I leave in July. Congrats. After that, I'm probably just going to go to college somewhere here. Thank you so much for serving. Yeah, I'm going to be attending uh, Davao Valley College, and uh, I'm hopefully going to be, become a PE teacher and a coach. Awesome, man. Giving back to the community. Yeah, yeah just community college and probably transfer to a four-year somewhere, get a degree. Awesome. Yeah, definitely very cost efficient. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Hey, you're welcome. We're here with Coach Keisha from Clayton Valley. Thank you so much for hosting such an efficient and speedy meet today. Do you have any message you'd like to say special for the class of 2021? Um, I just want to say that you guys have been amazing to coach this year. Um, your dedication, coming out every day to practice without knowing if we had a season or not, working hard through short um times in between meets and staying strong and steady and being a driving force for our younger kids and showing them what hard work gets you. So congratulations, keep your head up strong, high and know that you guys have prevailed in 2021 in this COVID season. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Take care. All right, we're here with a special guest, Aaron Ford, the timer extraordinaire from Ford Timing. Is there any special message you'd like to say for the class of 2021 tracks? I want to wish the class of 2021 the best of luck in their future endeavors. And I know that these past couple seasons have been disappointing. And, you know, you're always going to be faced with all these challenges in life, but you have to believe to achieve. That's what one of my uh, inspirational coaches taught me, and I still believe it to this day. So I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. All right, thank you so much, Aaron. Thank you.